how's it going everybody it's me skadog thank you very much for joining us as you can see we're about to start playing some tennis manager or at least do an overview video for tennis manager uh, the publisher was kind enough to reach out and send me a key um, to, to highlight the game and, and showcase the game to you uh, so that's what i'm going to do uh, additionally they have sent over a discount code to be used on games planet it is an affiliate link so just bear that in mind if you're thinking about using it but what they have advised is that using that discount code uh, on games planet is going to get you the game uh, in the cheapest way it's going to give you 28 percent off the retail price um you will be able to still pick it up on steam on on epic but um if you want to get it for the cheapest price then then please go and check out that link um, but just bear in mind obviously that they did send me keys so i will be as honest as i can be about about this game but i'd much rather you formed your own opinions on what i'm showing you uh, equally if you want to check out any of the other games they are um, fairly cheap at this moment in time so if you're looking at a tennis game and, and want to pick one of those up then uh, then the links will be in the description as well for those for those games um tennis manager 2024 it's a, a management sim uh, where you control an, an academy you build academy you improve that academy you take on uh, new players you scout new players you improve those you assign coaches to them or you can coach them yourself and then you uh, you try and obviously become as rich as possible and, and continue to improve players as, as years goes on. Um, just a quick disclaimer, the music you're hearing isn't the music in the game. The music in the game was a little bit overpowering, so I've just turned that off uh, for now. Um, but uh, we're going to get into this. We're going to have a real look at it. Um, I'm going to try and point out the things that I can that are different, uh, and then we'll go from there. I will talk about fantasy courts first of all. Uh, so what you can see here is fancy court if i just come out of here you can actually see that it's the quick play option so we can go back into that we can choose whether we're playing singles or doubles uh, just a quick disclaimer that if you're seeing doubles here and you're thinking great that's going to be in the management part of the game it's not yet um, i don't know if there's plans to, for that to, to happen in the in the future um, I doubt it would be for this version of the game but unfortunately there isn't the ability to say this player in my academy is simply a doubles player uh, and in the tennis world there are lots of players who simply only play doubles so it's a bit unfortunate i'd like to see it in the game maybe we'll see it at some point in the game but uh in the in this version it's just in the doubles the only place sorry in the in the, the, the quick tournament the only place you see doubles in the management sim is in the world cup um so they they do play doubles in that but that's but that's it you can't have a player and work their career through just playing doubles um, so you can see we can choose a single or doubles. We can choose whether it's mixed or men and women's doubles. Uh, we can just choose a, a one-off match or we can create a tournament. You can see I've, I've created a couple already, but I'm going to come in and just say, we'll do a doubles tournament. We'll hit create. It's going to allow us to go in and um, create a tournament. Oh, create a tournament. Um, And then we can uh, we can choose a, an image or import an image so we can come over here and say uh, let's, let's choose this one that looks fine uh, we can choose and change the background here if we wanted to we can say how many sets people play how many rounds there are to uh, to play in this tournament we can say whether it's direct elimination or not uh, if it's an indoor or outdoor stadium we can choose the size of the stadium so we'll go big for this uh, we can choose the the billboards what color they're going to be let's say they're going to be pink and then we can choose the color of the seating. Let's say the seating is going to be this, this nice sort of pastel yellow color. Um, then we can come in and we can change the team. So you can see at the moment we're with these guys, but we could easily come in and import someone from the game or import someone from the save. If we were to choose the game, obviously you can come in and then choose that player. One thing I would say that's quite interesting is you choose a tournament with doubles. Um, it's not limited to uh, mixed male or female doubles. There is a, you can see, kind of a, a variation and, and all all of those groupings are together so we can see here two males here two females here uh, and then a, a mixture of, of male and female as well so obviously you can come in you can come and change all of these players if you want to um, the way the publisher has kind of sold it to us is that it's the opportunity to come and and build your own custom matches and have uh, rerun matches of the past and do all of those things i think this could be quite interesting if you built your own little database and then um and then had andre agassi sampras versus Djokovic and federer those sort of things that might be quite nice to to do but you know uh, obviously the main selling point of a management sim is the management part not the quick part or the quick play part but let's go in and we'll launch a tournament um, i'm going to use this opportunity to 
show you the graphics. Uh, we will just flash up some images of last year's game so you can see if, they, if there's any improvements there. Um, and um, what we'll also do as we're going through it is we'll kind of, when we get to talking about the management sim, we'll just do the simulation part of the game rather than watching your your player in that but you can see here we've got details about the tournament that we've just set up uh, we can uh, we can come in and see our players if we hit briefing it's going to show us who we're about to play and we can come in and change our strategic settings to that so who's playing and who's going where just one thing to also highlight is you can see Djokovic isn't Djokovic and Andy Murray isn't Andy Murray uh, usually there is a uh, a mod that comes out fairly quickly with proper proper players names in uh, there's often a mod that comes out with images in obviously just bear in mind they are mods so they they might take a little bit of time might not be there on on release day often they are but just uh, just so you're aware that you can come in and you can change that. in here you can set up how you want your team to play uh, in various positions how aggressive they're going to be and all of those things we can then go to play it's going to bring us into the uh, to the court setup uh, as you can see this is the opening image i'm just going to put a quick still in here so you can see how it looks uh, against last year's okay and now we move on to uh to to the the actual gameplay you can see we've got some details about our players here once we get through this we can hit skip and then we're going to be able to see how how the smooth the engine is how it looks and all of those things um you know, I, I will say there's some just one thing to bear in mind this is the beta version this is a beta key so uh, it might not be the finished article there may be changes to it but we saw this last last year some of the some of the shots that are played don't necessarily connect that sweetly and smoothly with the uh, with the racket I almost called it a bat um, equally there's there's this little animation and little celebration after every point that's won <laughs> I love it. And so there's, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's things just to bear in mind with that. We do have different views, so we can zoom in and out from this three quarters view. We can go to a top down view and again, zoom in and out of that. We can uh, click on the TV view and zoom in and out from that as well. That's a nice shot. Um, I think there's usually another one as well. There's CV, I think it is, and you stand right behind the player and view it. And then obviously there's different speeds. So we can work our way through uh, set fairly quickly. If you want to play the, the see and watch the game, but not necessarily, uh, not necessarily um, have it going as slowly as a, as a normal tennis match. Uh, you can also see here we can change our intensity. We can go back to this menu that we've already seen about changing our tactics. And then finally, we can talk to the players about how we think they're doing. Um, one big change that we've seen this year is around the, the, not the statistics, but the 3D analysis. Here you can see lots of stats about what's happening. You can also filter this on the current set or the next set or or whatever whatever details you've got here uh, finally we've got 3d analysis and this is quite nice this if you really want to get into the simulation of the game you can get in and, and have a look at this and you can see uh, how the two teams are comparing where there's been winners and faults and exchanges and, and winning shots we can see where uh, where the game's being played or where the match is being played where serves are going and again you can you can mix this up uh, you can, uh, I'm not entirely sure what hit points is. Um, you know, I don't quite know if this is just the last shot or if this is something else. I'm not entirely sure what this, what this is showing us. Um, but then I'm not a massive, uh, I'm not a massive tennis fan. So just bear that in mind. Um, we've got the returns and where are, where returns are being hit. So you can see if they're going deep or going, uh, going short. And obviously if you tweak the tactics, you should see the changes in that. And then finally, you've got the average position. So if we speed this up, we'll see that um, as the game goes on, this update. So if you really want to get into that tactical depth of, of how a match is going, this is where the info is. This is what you can go in and you can change. Um, or in all honesty, it's not necessarily for me um, because in the game plays that I've played, it's been more about the management side of the sim rather than the management side of the players you know it's about improving your academy um but there you go that's um that's the the 3d analysis the the you know the the match engine so you've seen that um i have just got another image to show you kind of the comparison of this view versus the the uh, the old version just so you can see that um you know there, there, there hasn't been huge enhancements to this but i do think there has been some i think it feels just a little bit clearer 
um, but then some of the animations and the, the ball physics aren't quite what it is but bear in mind it's a simulation if you want more of that other stuff top spin came out fairly recently if you want to play matches that's probably where to go uh, one thing i would say is an avid sort of simulation fan often what's happening in in the in the match engine isn't a full representation of what's happening in the simulation engine um, so just bear that in mind as well that you know this is this is a nice representation of it but it may not be the be all and end all of what's going on in the game but um you can immediately sort of skip through and simulate matches and get results in the sim as well so you, you don't have to sit through all of these to watch it we'll have a look at that in a second so this is uh this is the um the match engine i'm just going to forfeit this match uh, there'll be some celebrations um as you can see here they seem pretty happy for them with themselves for a, a, a team that won since someone else quit especially they quit whilst they were winning um but we can we can move on from here we're going to go back to the uh to the main menu and we're going to get into creating a new academy you know this is the 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 you know the meat of a, a simulation this is why people get into a simulation we can come to new career we can see that there are some modding details here that takes us to a separate separate page with some information on we can come in and we can uh, choose some mods if we have them we can choose a database if we have any others but at the moment obviously we're, we're looking at this early so no details there i'm going to turn tutorials off and i'm just going to hit create career we're now going to the option to choose a difficulty i don't remember this being in the previous game so that's quite nice to have we can then come in and we can set up our our manager so let's be scott dog just pretend you didn't see me type that in uh, and then we're going to come and choose an image i should probably choose a veteran right we can import an image in fact we'll do that um in this in a second but uh let's just choose let's choose this geezer with his with his sunglasses on he looks pretty cool uh is this randomized and then we can hit next then we can choose our level of ability we can say what our um what our stats are in the in the academy and you can see we get points available and we can move these around and do whatever we want with these uh, management my way i like that that's a quote we can say we want to start out as the captain of a nation uh, but we're going to hit next on that and we're going to then be given oh i think we need to spend our points there we go uh, and then we're going to go into do we want to use an existing academy or create a new one we're going to in this instance choose a new one we're going to come in and we'll call it the sdg ball bouncers as is tradition for for this we can choose where we're based we can import an image i'm going to do this in this instance so we can choose our logo and get that uploaded it's going to take a few seconds just to load that in but then it it shows and i think one thing i would say is the ui is just a little bit crisper than before and it's got a few more elements that just make it feel a little bit more modern a little bit nicer uh, which is is quite nice we'll see those in a second um, but uh, we can hit next on this and then we get to choose are we starting from absolutely nothing which is going to give us the lowest level while we start with with everything and you can see over here the expected monthly income and outgoings without doing any without doing any changes and we can set our vision for the future so we'll we'll go with starting from zero and all of those things uh, we've got free slots for players we're going to hit uh, create a new player we could choose an existing player but we'll create one so you can see that as well uh We'll put in our our hero over here, um, Nerdinand. Uh, he is from from Switzerland, but you can see lots of lots of nations over here. Um, you can you can choose a a, a gender, uh, a um, a date of birth. You can say how how nerdy he is. He's relaxed and he's uh, charismatic. I think that's the nerdy I know. And then you can choose um, you know, the the potential that the player has. A bit of an interesting one that you can choose to make them a legend i'm not sure how i feel about that but if you wanted to randomize it you could always uh, you could always choose a random uh, random number from the uh, from a number generator or something along those lines and you can also this is quite nice saying they can't change the uh, or leave the academy we can hit next we can then come in and start changing how they look uh, how their their stats are situated all of those things if we wanted to their their main style of play we can come and change all of those things we can uh, we can change how they look we can come in and choose a face and a skin tone and all the rest of uh, all the rest of those things haircuts there isn't as many haircuts as i would maybe quite like but uh, and then we can choose a beard if we want one uh, we can choose obviously to change to change color of, of hair and skin and all of those things we can choose to add a hat backwards hat and we can choose some clothes and different 
different styles of clothes. One thing I would say about all of this is that when you get into the actual game, you often get offered contracts, which is going to change this. Anyway, next page gives us the ability to choose a player uh, and we can say whether we want it to be any player or if we want to say only show us people who are likely to join us. I would argue, bearing in mind we're an academy with nothing built, this seems a little over the top that all of these people would be happy to come and sign up for it with us, even though we're we're pretty terrible at that moment in time. Uh, and we can then add those to our, our, our pile. We won't do that. We're just going to stick with nerdy and we can hit uh, continue. That's going to take us in to our game. Uh, we, what we're going to do is we're going to fly through some of these things. I will try and point out where the changes are, but I also want to try and get to the first tournament of the season so you can see that. So obviously we're welcome to our academy. Mike Borg is our director uh, and he's going to give us a press conference. If you haven't played this game before, there is a couple of series on the channel. So if you want to go and check those out, it's very much going to give you an idea of what you know a cycle of, of tournaments, etc. looks like. We won't get time to go through all of those things today. But you can see we've got a welcome, uh, the presentation of the academy and then the objectives that we've set. So obviously you have a balance at the end of the year, 100 grand, recruit a player, reach level two for the medical center, all of those things. We'll have a look at some of those in a second. We're just going to hit continue so we can we can progress through some time and you can see emails start to flow in. We get a press conference and we can come in and say, uh, these are, you know, I came here, it's got all you create your own academy, what made you do it? I know this region has a reputation for its client, the landscape, climate, the landscapes, but it's reputation for a lot of ta talent. Don't know if anyone would have said that about uh, an academy in the UK, but that's what we've said. Um, I want to send this academy to the benchmark for every player. Um, how do you get nerd down on board? I bribed him. Um, you know, whatever your, your answers are, we've seen all of these before if you played the game before, but kind of, you know, they come up every once in a while. Um, we've got the rankings update. So it's telling us that Djokovic and, uh, oh, okay, maybe Djokovic is the real player and we were looking at someone different. Oops. Um, and, uh, you know, we can see the details of those those players. We can see who's who's relevant on the uh, on the tournament. We can see what tournaments Nerdy is going to be registered into and we can hit continue again. I just want to get to a point where we're seeing some training because I think that's going to help. There we go. Perfect. So we can see our training and our calendar is updated a little bit. We can start to set our goals. So here's Nerdy. We, we can say to Nerdy, I think we're going to aim for the top 100 and he's going to say, sounds like a good idea. That's the juniors and we can leave that. We can also come in and have a little look at, uh, at um, contracts and various other things as we go. Um, but um, for now, I'm just going to hit continue one more time. And hopefully that's going to start working its way through this training. So each period you can set up your training plan. Uh, it was a bit monotonous last time out. You could go in, you could create a training plan and you'd have to assign all your players to the training plan you wanted. Um, now you can see the, the update. As I say, some of this is um, beta. So just bear in mind some of these are still being worked on. But you can see how much progression you've made towards certain skills based on the training you've done. We can see the tournaments and the training for this week and we can go from there. So I just wanted to get to this stage because if I then go to circuits, what we can see is where people are ranked and the biggest movers in the last in the top 100 and for men's, women's and boys and girls, the biggest moves up, the biggest drops. All of those things are here. We can come into the rankings and see who's ranked uh, number one. What, what is happening? Did I, am I making this up? Is this, hold on, where was the, Novak Djokovic, right? Uh, after Triumph and Djokovic in the season of their rankings up the top four. And then when we come over here, um, hold on, this one. Is that, the, the, am I, am I being an idiot? Am I just seeing things? Hold on, where'd that email go? Is this a different person? Is this a different person or the same person? I don't understand. Anyway, let's not worry about <laughs> let's not worry about it. Maybe it's maybe it's just a different person. Um anyway, let's let's move on from that. Let's um let's come back into our emails. We can come over to circuits and we were looking at where people were seeing. We can see how the rankings have improved. These players are with academies and not with academies. We can see the World Cup rankings, which is, I'm assuming, your Davis Cup. You can see your, your tournaments that are coming up. 
uh, for for the each each sort of grouping. You see any records and any uh, any stats. Um, <laughs> so confused. Anyway, we can then come to our team. So we can come and click on Nerdinand. Uh, and from Nerdy, we can see some details about him. He's got a cracking beard for a 15 year old. I will say that. But you can see, obviously, up the top here, we've got uh, he's a novice. His fame is is two out of 10, I'm assuming. Uh, he's an adventurer, relaxed and calm. I quite like they've added some, some little icons that tell you about the player now rather than having it all in here. Uh, we can see the stats now. I'm going to put a quick image up now, which shows us a comparison between last year's stats and this year's stats. And in there, you can see. Uh, new details about uh, control and uh, and um, timing, and I think there's some new details about speed consistency on serves. I think some of those are new, um, but there's about I think they said claimed about eight new stats. I might have made that number up, but you can see hopefully adding more things to this is going to make the simulation just that a little bit deeper. Um, but obviously it makes it more complicated to know how these things directly affect your your player and 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 that, and, and so on. So. Uh, let me, uh, you know, what's the difference between forehand and forehand consistency? Defines the strength and precision of a player's forehand, determines the player's forehand consistency. So, you know, just bear that in, bear that in mind. Uh, the image will be up right now. Okay, so now we're, um, now we're moving on. We're looking at our planning so we can see what has this player got coming up. We can go into training. This is quite a, a different screen to what we've used to. I mean, it's still got the same elements in. You can choose a particular type of training you can come in and say uh you know from our point of view we want to we want to change some of these things you can you can create new ones and, and see how they change we can come in and choose different items in here and say well actually we don't want care on that day we want serve with spin and you can see all the different types of training here and you can see what they improve and what they uh what what drops based on that so quite a lot of of ability to come in and change that as you continue to improve your academy you can also um you can also change that the other thing i just want to point out about training is if we just come to cancel here you've got some details about medical reports you've got training reports and you've got planning so you can come in and, and make sure that you're keeping people fit because one of the things that they've said has changed is you know pushing people too hard will result in in more intense injuries and the training will have a direct effect on that so one of the things you've now got is the ability to come in and say pre-season we want to work on cardio and peak form and it's going to be heavy workout during weeks where there's no um matches we want to have standard training and then during a you know during a tournament or leading up to a tournament we want to say you know, we've got uh, the, the prep for a tournament we've got a post tournament cool down you know those sorts of things so you can really get into um setting up something that works for you and your players and one of the one of the monotonous things last time around was going in and and changing that every time because what you might want to do is look at these and say i wonder how close i am to getting these these step ups and therefore i'll make sure i'm working on those things because i want to get this to a to a 10 rather than nine so just bear that in mind these ones that we're seeing here some of them are coming from from not being fit some of them are coming from rackets all of those things so you can see uh, there are other things that directly affect your player you can see form is giving us a plus one um, so we've got game plans we can say how we want to play if we're an offensive baseliner or a big serve and attack or a very play we can see our contracts and we might get offered contracts to come and sign for for new outfits and shoes and all of those things and as i said as we mentioned the things will change and you can see the stats that these things are giving you uh, if you were to choose a different style of of those things we've got our goals so you can see where our goal is to get to the top 100 uh, we've got our registration and we can come in and we can do this manually or we can leave it on automatic and let that happen um, and and then we've got reports and statistics and ranks and results and all of those things our academy we're just going to go into this screen so you can see we can come in and we can see our overview of our academy we can see what our staff are doing and who's assigned where and what they're good at i was talking about the kind of the ui you can see this bottom section with the with the flag in the background they've just kind of brought it up to date a little bit this some of this stuff up here is quite nice with the, the logo in the background we can see how our finances are doing and then we get into this section where we can come in and start to work on things so we can say well we definitely want to improve our our paddle courts 
for this. This is going to give us a monthly income, but also a monthly expense. But it's also going to boost our sports center by 2.9. One of the things we had to work on was uh, was medical care. So potentially we can come in and say, let's build a yoga and meditation room. It's only for 25 grand. It's going to take a little while to do. Let's, let's do it. Um, and we can see how our, our academy is improving over time. Each one of these things, just to highlight, if we go to Sports Center and we come and do clay courts, you can see if we do level one of clay courts, it's going to give us an extra trainer. Uh, if we do um, if we do the weight room, it's going to give us an extra trainer at level two. If we do a multi-purpose field, it's going to give us an extra trainer, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you know, this is how you get more players. One of the things is you need managers and coaches. So the more you do these things, the more um, the more you're going to be able to get new players and new coaches and have enough people to train your train your players. Uh, next up, we've got our manager screen. You know, showing us our objectives and our career. Uh, we've got our um, our search screen, so you can come in and you can do evaluations on players, but you can also search for players in this screen, uh, and you can choose what your what you're searching on so over here we can change this and uh, sort by the ranking and we can see where people are ranked and then obviously we've got our staff search over here as well don't think any of these are changed i think they're the same titles that we have seen before but you can come and choose the right people for the right job and then you've got how other academies and federations exist so that's all of that i'm going to hit continue a few more times and hopefully we're going to get to a point where we've got to a tournament I just want to show you what that looks like. We've obviously seen the match engine before. Uh, we can see that we've got another offer here for some shoes or or outfits or rackets in this instance. So we can come and sign that, and we can choose again a different a different racket. I do like that this updates how the how the player looks. We'll hit continue one more time. We're traveling somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but we're traveling somewhere. Uh, we've got some more training to do. Um, you can see we've been invited to a few more tournaments let's hit continue again and then hopefully we'll just wrap this video up with um with some details as to to the uh you know showing you the first match i think i skipped past the press conference which is going to annoy mike borg oh no we didn't okay uh, i'm not 100 percent just yet helping nerd improve um whatever we're answering to these ones who, who cares really um, and then we hopefully are getting to a positive self-talk for a Sunday evening training. We're going to get to a place where we are at a tournament. So as you can see here, if I hit continue, it's going to take us into the first week. We can see we've got a match coming up. We can go to play match. That's going to show us the tournament uh, bracket. So you can see we're in the round of 32. We're down here against Andreas Koizas, 114th in the world versus 115th. We're a wild card. You can see how everyone else has been doing in the uh, in the tournaments, uh, and then we can um, we can help come and hit briefing. From here, we can go in and say, you know, is there any adjustments we want to make? What's the pre-match report? He's in average form. He plays all court, so we might use that to tweak what we're doing. Um, but then we can come in and say, enter locker room, which is allow going to allow us to give a team talk as such, and then watch the game like we saw in the engine before. Or as a simulator, we can just hit simulate and that is going to go through and play the match. So we lost the first set 5-7. We lost the next match 3-6. It's still going to give us all of the stats so we can see total points played and won and where we won them and how our first serve was doing. You know, this will help you focus on the right things going forward. But as you can see, we have lost. Uh, we're going to hit continue because we've lost that tournament. Um, we, we got £221 for being in it and, and turning up. But then we get that week's worth of training. And if we wanted to, we could go and train, change this to say, focus on these things after losing that match. Um, so just so you know that, um, you know, this is, this is, this is basically the, the cycle of the game. You then get into working your way through these, through these tournaments, registering for the right tournaments. You know, I think there's a, the fine line between choosing the, uh, choosing the right training uh, and choosing to play in the right number of tournaments especially when you have a good young player you don't want to necessarily have them match after match you want them to be able to train quite a lot because that's where you're going to get your major gains from uh, from your stats however that being said some of these things only improve based on um, based on how you're performing in matches you know your killer instinct will go up because 
you've played games um that's that's tennis manager in a nutshell it's a it's a fun little game i think one of the things i like about it i think you can go into a lot of depth or you can really just work your way through it and go you know what I'm not that interested in the tennis part i quite like the seeing that we are improving um i think that's quite nice as well so we can see all of these things going going up as as they go um but um there you go tennis manager 2024 uh, as i said right at the beginning of the video there is a discount code and the link is in the description below uh, it's to games planet and if you buy it from games planet before the 6th of june it's going to be the cheapest place you can get the game at release um it's 28 percent off so it's you know it's a reasonable a reasonable discount on that um you know from my point of view i'd much rather you just chose where you wanted to buy the game if you want to buy the game and get it from there but i think that makes it 24 pounds and 47 pence with uh with 20 uh 28 off the game is out today uh, if you go to games planet now you can get your, your code immediately and uh and be ready for when that when that comes out and um let me know if you're planning on picking this game up let me know if you want to see a series in this i'm not planning on necessarily doing a series in this in this version maybe we'll wait until next version but if that changes or if you want me to do one then you're gonna have to let me know hopefully this was this was helpful uh and let me know your thoughts i'll see you again soon thank you